this is George Ball. He's a 19th century English mathematician with bushy sideburns, and if you're a graphic designer, you have a lot to thank him for. Actually, if you're a human that's ever used a computer, you've got a lot to thank him for. But for graphic designers, especially those working in Vector, George Ball is a big deal. He laid the foundation for digital computers, and his work spans far too much to go into in a short form video. He was born in 1815 in Lincolnshire, where I grew up. And if you've ever visited Lincoln train station and seen this bronze statue, there's our boy. Now, if you've used the Pathfinder tool in a Vector program like Adobe Illustrator, you'll have heard of Unite, Minus Front, or Subtract, Intersect, or exclude. And we can use combinations of these tools to combine and manipulate simple shapes to form pretty much any shape we want. I use these so often that I have dedicated keys for these on my little macro pad here. And these operations that form one of the fundamental tools that logo designers use every day are commonly referred to as Boolean operations. The basic Boolean operations are AND, OR, and NOT, which correspond to specific ways of combining or manipulating values. In graphic design, an OR operation basically means that if you have a circle and a square, the area covered can be represented represented by the circle or the square. So that's everything, which is the unite command. An and operation means only the area covered by both the circle and the square. So that's the intersect command. A not operation is the area covered by the circle, not the square. So that's our subtract or minus front command. And finally, exclude is a little trickier, which is a combination of and and not operations. So and as before, and then not, which reverses the result. So that's why these are referred to as Boolean operations. And if you want to get better at using them, then you definitely need to check out Boolean method.ac. It explains things so well and it'll get you fluent in using some more complex combinations to make some really detailed shapes.